students? Is that you? You managed to get back. In one piece, yes. Very funny. I see that you have somehow merged into a person thing. You're kind of not. You're kind of shapeless there. What happened to your arm? It'll come through. Okay. Well, your parents, well, I, I told your parents that you're all on a extended um, field trip. It's kind of the truth. And um, How did you get back here? You... Did you do it on your own? By will? Did you dedic Did you des choose your destination somehow? Please tell me. You're unsure. You have... No recollection of how it works. If you indeed ever knew. Okay, that's not really helpful, but okay. There was a creature. Tell me, how did this creature look? Wait a minute. Do you mean something like this? With this Kind of a weird smirk without a mouth, kind of like something like this. Yeah, with the stripes, kind of a striped face like this, and all pale. And he did it perhaps have a bunch of claws and one that appeared to be a creature all, of, all in its own. Benny. They called it Benny. It, they, that creature called the claw creature Benny. And you say this creature somehow helped you get back here to meet me. Must, I must admit, I didn't expect this. It has been haunting my sleep for, well, for as long as you've been gone. I realize now that the whole experiment we did was kind of um, reckless. Kind of reckless. I, um, I'm so sorry that you have become this thing that you are now. Tell me, do you, have you lost any, how does it feel? Do you feel a sense of community? Or like you're an individual who's lost? It's kind of a blur. The whole experience is kind of a blur. Okay. Let me, um... Did you perhaps, have you seen any artifacts? When you were, when you've been out. You've met someone whose name is Theo at a shopping mall. 
Is it like, what's a shopping mall? Is it like a school, but instead of learning things, you acquire things? Oh, so it's like a merchant. It's a merchant building. It's a vast landscape. How can... How... And they have what? Robots? What are robots? This is very, very interesting. You must investigate this closer and bring back as much information as you can. Robots. Hmm. Okay. You're unsure. You haven't seen any artifacts. Well, if you don't really remember, this whole thing this phenomenon. It's very strange. And I've dedicated my life to studying it. Here at the Thimble Bottom School of Magic and Magic. drift objects may follow and I think that perhaps objects in some of the realms and destinations you've been in are charged with magic or whatever name we shall use for this they are drifted Remember your knickknack bags. The knickknack bag. Is a container to store such artifacts within. just special people. I believe I believe that everybody could benefit from the knowledge of how to drift Imagine the applications for transport. For transport and cultural exchange. Imagine the applications. You've already discovered something known as a shop. device or devices there are many of them called robots something we haven't had the faintest idea could 
that it could be real or made real. You found this out in but a few nights. I've been poring over my artifacts again and again and again, trying to figure out a way to bring you back. something missing and I don't know how to target a specific person in a specific place I believe something like that is beyond our conventional science. I believe that wherever you end up, if you play along with whatever's going on, I think you will be safe. Just be just be smart. I believe in you students. You've, you're all very gifted. And now that you've combined into one singular entity, a drifter, I am. I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to be just fine. Okay. You're going to be all right. You are occupying a very interesting place in space and time. You are the Outsider that will be part of many, many adventures. I'm afraid it's beyond me to bring you back. I think you are much more capable of mastering the drift. should do some tests to see if your vision and everything works the way it should because you are not entirely human anymore and whatever else you used to be when you were in my class I knew we had much more than just humans. There were some arachnoids, there were some orcs, I thought, I think. A good amount of goblins. But you're all very gifted people. seems to shift and shape 
gently throughout your day. And it's mostly changed every time you open your eyes after you went to sleep. I understand. But your range of motion, do you, can you, let's um, see if you can stretch a bit. that usual? Is that a common feeling? It depends. Okay. Can you touch things when you are in the uh, different places? Okay, you have interacted with So you've never faced through anything, not that you know of, okay, because there has to be a transitory stage when you go to sleep and you Somewhere in that process, we have not been able to observe this. We knew all disappeared. It was so surreal and strange. Like it went so fast. There was really no way to observe the phenomena because there were so many of you. Then you were gone in an instant that took an instant, but still. so weird. Yes, that's the proper scientific word to use. Such a such an occurrence is weird. Okay. So how's your hearing? Can you hear this? few notes, okay? So you could hear on this side. What do you remember from when you had your incident? remember anything, anything at all. You felt strange. Okay, strange how? Like you were 
changing your form. Okay. It was cold, says one of you. And in another voice, he said you felt warm. a way for us to feel, to figure out when an object is an artifact. You're feeling that now? This is not an artifact. This came from here. You didn't come from here. Well, in a way you did, but now that you're a drifter, Is everything around you charged now? Are you like a conduit for the drift? Like a battery, like a... Like a fire. Giving up heat, like a piece of snow giving off the cold, feeling of winter, like the rain. kind of giving off a aura of some kind right now, like a light, a purplish, shifting in blue and pink light. You can see it too. If I interact with the light, Dare not touch it. Dare not. Well, your body seems to be in a very particular stage of solidity and etherealness, like hollowness to it. It's nothing personal. It's just that we're experiencing something. 
something that's never happened before. And I think it's best to be careful if we can, as much as we can. Does this work? feel more hollow or more solid when I do this. Do you feel like you're drifting away or that you're still here? tell you what. I'll let you rest. Okay. Are you hungry? You do not feel hunger. Okay. Do you feel pain? Sure. One voice says yes, another voice says no. Okay. Guess what? You know, you know where we keep some extra food stuff in the cafeteria. Feel free to whatever you want. And I'll let you rest in the um, well you can rest in the cafeteria if you want. There's no one there right now. There will be no one there for a while since well you were my biggest class and since you had your field trip? Well, that's the what I told everyone else. They kind of went, uh, why can't we get on, get to go on a field trip or an exchange or something?" So I had to grant everyone a. Hey, well, they they are free to do whatever they want right now, because I need to focus on this discovery. Okay. You, um, if you're still, if you're still here when you wake up, come find me, okay? Otherwise, I wish you the best of luck. see if we can't somehow get you out of this mess.